Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Different people don't know what the elephant is. <laughs> one is saying this is the tree, the other one is saying it's the snake wall. and so on and so forth. So you understand now how important it is to look at things from different perspectives. Holistic perspective means that you are turning that thing upside down and inside out and on all sides. Mm -hmm. So then you can understand what this thing is. And that requires open-mindedness. And to have this open-mindedness, it means that you, you have respect and appreciation for other cultures. Thank you so much. <laughs> At least I'm glad that I have one fan in the... Right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Please give her a bottle of water because... Uh, that's, the best, that's the best you can do under the circumstances. <laughs> so. No, but you, 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 understand, you understand now how important it is to truly look at things not just from our perspective, because every day in our lives, we do things that we are concerned about. You know, we are concerned about our job, about our money, about our exports. But let's look at things from the other perspective and let's try to see how can we actually improve the, 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 the quality of life for everybody, for everybody. That's the, that's the main thing. So I hope you like this, this uh, so now, they, 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 their eyesight is definitely not good. We can we call like an uh, optometrist to make sure. <laughs> but you understand now the, this analogy with a, with a card, right? Unfortunately, I couldn't find a card that has true, uh, two, true block colors, so to see black and white or something. Okay. But you see two people looking at the same problem and seeing two different things. And usually, the truth is on neither side. Usually, the truth is somewhere on the edge. You know. So you, you, you now have to think, how can we try to understand things also from the other people's perspective? And how can we try to work with them? Because again, China has done a wonderful thing at succeeding in exporting a lot of stuff. But now you have to think, okay, how can we do this to enhance the relationship for both that country and, and, and China as well? That's why China hosts the first uh, exhibition for import in Shanghai this year. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Yes. So, so I think, I think we, uh, we have, we have a, a wonderful opportunity to, to connect the dots, to connect with the world economy. We have some, some uh, technology that could be leveraged. Of course, Alibaba. Today, I just told you about Global Box, so you, you know about that. How much is a Global Box? How much does it cost? You see, that's the best question that I've heard for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Another bottle of water here, please. <laughs> it's absolutely free. Free? How? How do you prof get profit from that? That's the second best question I've heard for the day. <laughs> Where is your profit? Well, you see, I'm more interested in people. And I'm more interested in planet. Actually, there is some profit to be made, but it's free for vendors. The system, the moment a vendor posts a product, let's say, you know, this chair for, um, I don't know, uh, 500 yuan. Yeah? Okay. Our system automatically puts some a little bit on top of that. It's either six or eight or 10% depending on the product and depending on the price. So it puts a little bit of add-on on top of that. And that's where we make a little bit of money. But we actually, from that, we cover the uh, financial uh, transaction cost and, and everything, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, shipping. You don't have to worry about shipping. We also take care of shipping. So for vendors, this becomes like a bit of a no-brainer. You put it on, then we find, we market it, we find people anywhere in the world to buy it, and then we connect you, and, and that's it. So it is revolutionary, because Alibaba still charges you quite a bit of money. Yes. So Jack Ma, you, you should stop. Free for vendors. Free for vendors, yes, for suppliers. Yes. It's for retail only? It's, it's 
manufacturer to wholesaler, wholesaler to retailer, retailer to end consumer, and there's actually also end consumer to end consumer because you can actually, the platform is open, you can also sell used products. So if you have a, 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 you know, a pair of old skis, I don't know how many people are skiing, how many people are skiing here in Foshan? In Foshan, yeah. it's impossible. In my home, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe more than me. Only I so if you have a pair of old skis, you can put them there. <laughs> yeah. So you can, you can it, 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 it covers all market segments. It covers B2B, B2C, M to B, M manufacturer to business, manufacturer to consumer, consumer to consumer, even government to government, because it actually covers commodities. 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 Does, it, does it work fast to the, the internet? The, is it, is, will it work very fast in China? Because in China, it, 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 that's a very, that's a very good question. Uh, it actually, it actually, it actually works, it actually works a little bit slower in China, but it works. So it's not, it's not uh, restricted. Uh, in fact, we have acquired even globalbox.cn. So we have uh, globalbox.cn and globalbox.com.cn. So we have these, uh, so we'll make those specific for, for China. And the, the entire site, the default is in English, but the entire site can be translated in uh, Mandarin. Yeah. We, we're not, we don't have, we're not as sophisticated to translate it into the uh, Cantonese yet, but it's going to be translated in, in Mandarin. Mm, Mandarin is enough. But we have only one bike in this Mandarin. Chinese character. Yeah. Ah, okay. So the. We write the same. We read the same. 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 Okay. So I would like to conclude with the world is changing. Change is inevitable. Change is like a train. You either hop on board or you're left behind. You are either on board or you're still in the station and the train is going, is going by. Uh, and those who really want to change the world, there are not that many people, but some people are there. Those who want to change the world, they have to actually run in front of the train. Yes. <laughs> because when you're in front of the train, you're afraid that that train is gonna, is gonna roll over you. So you, you, gotta, you gotta run faster than the train. So then you're gonna become a champion of change. So Ken is desperately Ken, Ken is desperately showing me, Mike, you are, your time is up. Your time is up. Uh, up, for up, up for the first half. Up for the first Okay. <laughs> you didn't even give the bottle of water. You know how am I gonna how am I gonna say I have some credibility in this thing? A bottle of water for you for need Mike. a bottle of water. No, no, no. The bottle of water for the two ladies that asked the wonderful oh. questions. <laughs> That's the only, that's the only, the only uh, compensation, the only compensation, the only gift I can, I can. So I hope, I hope you, you had a, a bit of a sense of, uh, of uh, you know, what, uh, what opportunities lie ahead. And it requires a bit of a uh, shift in the mentality, shift in the change in the, uh, in the <laughs> No, uh, Bye, Joe. Sure. No problem. No, no, no bye, Joe. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Mo Motai, Motai, Motai. Ah, you see? Thank you, thank you. No, 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 for you, for you, for you. You deserve it, you deserve it. Uh, please, uh, can, okay, so do we take a break or do we? Please, please take a break now. Okay. We need some water. I don't need water. I'm, I'm, <laughs> as long as you give